I'm Anil Kumar and as requested by some of my students, I'm sharing with you solution of question number 21, page 21 on slope of tangents calculus. Question here is, find the coordinates of a point on the curve f of x equals to 3x square minus 4x where the tangent is parallel to the line y equals to 2x. Now, to find the coordinates of the point, what we should do is we should use difference quotient method, the first principle to find the tangent and equate it to the tangent of the given line. Since we are given tangent is parallel to, so we are given condition parallel to y equals to 8x, that means we have same slope, correct? That means same slope. So the slope will be m equals to 8. So that is the slope, correct? So we are expecting slope of the tangent on this curve to be 8, correct? So here we are given the slope, but we have to find the point. So we say let the point be, let the point uh, be uh, x equals to a, right? So if I write x equals to a, what is f of a equals to? f of a will be equals to 3a square minus 4a, correct? You get the concept. Now, if that is uh, the point, then what is the slope of the tangent? So from the definition, we know slope of the tangent is difference of y values, difference of x values, their ratio, where the limit delta x approaches approaches zero, right? So difference quotient we can apply uh, of difference of x and y values, where we are taking the y values and x values, the two points, which are very close to one another, right? So, so the two points which we are going to consider are one as f of a and the other one we will consider the point q. Let me insert it here since I rushed into this, uh, will be uh, f of a plus h, very close to a, right? So that will be uh, three times a plus h whole square minus f a plus h. So that these are the two points which we are working with, right? So on a parabola, which you can see here, is a parabola which is opening upwards, right? So we need two points. One is the point given to us, which is a, and the other point has to be very close to a. We need to find what a is, correct? So that is how you can actually do it. So with that in mind, let us find the difference question. And we are already given that this this value is 8 for us, right? This value is 8 for us. So let's begin by using a point A. And so we have a point which is A and F A. So that is one point. And the other point is A plus H is the X value. So the Y value will be F of A plus H, right? So these are the two points. And between these two points, the slope M should be equals to limit h approaches 0, y2 minus y1, or let me write down the formula. Let me write down the formula here first. So limit uh, h approaches 0. So I'm trying to use my space. I, I have to figure that out a lot. So a plus h minus f of a over h, correct? a plus h minus a, which you get. So that's the formula which we are using. And let's write down what is f of a plus h. So f of a plus h is, in this formula, we'll replace x with a plus h. So I'll substitute the values here. So limit of this function, f of a plus h is 3. Instead of x, I'm writing a plus h, whole square, minus 4 a plus h, correct? So that is f of a plus h minus f of a, which means 3a square minus 4a, correct? divided by h. So that is the formula for us. And we know that the slope is 8. So we'll write 8 equals to all this, right? So let me now expand these things and then, then we'll simplify. Okay. So I'll write 1 over h here, right? That's the quotient. Uh, and expand this. So we have 3 times a square plus 2ah plus h square. Uh, here we have minus 4 times a minus 4h. And then from this we have to take away 
3a square minus 4a. Okay. So, 8 is equals to limit h approaches 0, 1 over h over. So, let's see what can cancel. So, both these terms will always cancel. So, 3a square should cancel with 3a square. Minus 4a should cancel with this minus 4a. Correct. So, once you cancel, you can write the simplified expression. Expand this. Okay. 3 times 2 is 6. You get 6ah plus 3h square minus 4 h that is what you get okay now here h is common factor so correct 8 equals to limit h approaches 0 1 over h and you can take out h common so you get 6 a uh, plus 3 h minus 4 okay now now since h is common we just cancel this out and now at this stage I could substitute uh, the value of h as 0 in this equation. You get the point, right? So, what do we get? We get 6a uh, plus minus 4, right? Since this term will become 0 if I write h as 0. You got the idea, right? So, that means we have equation 8 equals to 6a minus 4. Bringing 4 here, we get 12 equals to 6a. Or, we can say... Uh, divide by 2, I mean 6, you get 2 equals to A. So the point value is A, A value is 2, right? So so we get our point, so we get A is 2, correct? So we can now find what is F of 2, right? So F of 2 equals to, plug in 2 here, 3 times 2 square, minus 4 times 2, which is 4 times 3 is 12, minus 8, that is 4, correct? So the point on the graph is at 2, uh, 2, 4, right? So A value is 2 for us. So that is how you can actually solve such a question. So on this parabola, which is 3x squared minus 4x, where tangent is parallel to this line, so that is the point where the tangent is parallel to the line y equals to 8x, correct? So I hope uh, this, these steps which we have taken help you to understand how to solve such equations. So the idea is parallel means you know what the slope is. Now you need to find the point. So let the point be at A and then select two points. So in this case we selected two points. Let's review. One point was A and F of A and the other point Q was very close to A. So we said A plus H and F of a plus h and then we use difference quotient method so we use difference quotient method and solve it using the first principle right so this is also called solving using first principle equated 8 for the slope and found the point so that is how it should be solved I hope that helps you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot thank you and all the best for my students.